Hello, Fulia. Hopefully this I'm pronouncing your name correctly. So I'm going to try to make this uh, an on-the-spot video. I haven't made a video in a while and I need to get back into practice. So here we go. Um, our challenge is to, this is your page here, try to get all this stuff down here up to the top of the page. It's a good thing that uh, you found an example because it gave me a better idea of what you're what you're trying to do. Okay, so what I did was I took your HTML code and I inserted it into or copied it into Composer. So as you can see this is your header and this is your your free badge image. This is a blank spot that you're having problems with and you want to move all of this up into this area. Okay. Um, a little trick and this will help you out if you're as you're experimenting is to click on the HTML tags. Okay. So then you can see the tags, your table tag, table tag this is a table that you created and this TD stands for a cell one cell this is a table with one cell that you created okay I, I also took Elaine's uh, HTML code and inserted it into Composer 2 on this other tab so if we do the same thing click on HTML tags we can see the same thing there's a table here just like what you did table with the header, table with one cell, and now that you understand TD, it's another cell. Okay, uh, is the picture starting to come together? So you have one cell here that has information, and you have another cell here, which you can do whatever you want with, and as you can see, there's a table within this cell that has two cells within it. Okay. I know it sounds complicated but once you start understanding tables and cells um, it makes more sense. It's a lot easier. So what we're going to do is go back to your page. So how do we create another cell after this cell? Like uh, Elaine's. Okay. Simply just click right click anywhere is within this cell and we're gonna insert a cell after this cell okay now you see a cell here and a cell here looking familiar and we can scroll down and drag this across there okay now we can compare here two cells and yours two cells okay now if we click into here this cell everything starts at the middle and you wanted starting at the top well no problem because while we're while we're within this cell if you right click, select the cell table properties, and you're in the cells tab, now content alignment, you want the vertical alignment. Instead of being at the middle where it was, you want it at the top. Click on apply, close, and now when we click on it, it's at the top. Okay. Uh, although you wanted your image, you wanted to insert an image here, you can also just move this to the middle and find your image. Um, let's select this one here. Well, it's something a little bit larger. Uh, what do we got? Um, Yeah, we'll pick 
like this one, the small one. Okay, so we can insert the image there. to the left side, left the line. Okay, we'll come down here. Copy this. that one's in. Now your other thank you page. See once you understand this how you can have a table with two cells on your thank you page um, what happened is between your thank you and your welcome images you use a bunch of space bars to align your images um, Internet Explorer doesn't recognize that that's why what it ends up doing is looking one image under the other image instead of like this so what you could do since you have I see what you did here okay see in this it's in normal mode the, the two images are split apart but if you look at the tags one on top of the other so what we can do is eliminate this um, eliminate this I'll get rid of this okay so what you could do is give us some working space here is to create another or create a table within this table so right here you just right click and you want to insert a table and make it a two cell table okay and this one is aligned to the left this one is aligned to the left so let's insert an image on this one pick the same okay and we go on this side it's left align I want to right align it so again right click within this area and pick cell properties and we're going to a vertical alignment would be in the middle, horizontal alignment we want it right. Apply and back to here as you can see it's right aligned hopefully this will work out for you. And let's pick another oh we'll use the same one. Okay 
Okay, oops. I thought I picked the same one. So, that just gives you an idea. I hope, I hope this helps you.